actually sat beside my bed. What is up guys, it's Claudia from Claudia's Class and today I'm doing my first video from my series Back to School and some of you are like, Claudia, it's not even close to going back to school, don't ruin my life and start putting out these videos. I have to consider some of my viewers are like my cousins in America where people are going to school like now or the start of August which is so soon and they have to start I have to start considering to do these videos for them or if you're just like me I'm on my second day of my holidays that was six weeks which for me is great to think about six weeks off I like to be early and just get everything for school done so that I don't have to think about it last minute so if you're like that then this video is perfect for you and if you're going to school very soon then I've got you covered so today I am giving you a DIY notebook tutorial and there are two ways to make this um, so I show you me making one way and then I show you an alternative I think too much let's just get on with the video so what you will need is a cheap notebook some duct tape or decorative washi tape or something um, double sided tape, glue, um, ruler, um, scissors, a sharpie or pens um, decorative paper and then also a stapler. So I'm going to start by measuring both sides of my notebook and then picking a piece of decorative paper, drawing out all the measurements and cutting them out. I'm trying really hard to get the exact measurements and cutting as close to the line as possible so that it will be is the exact size when I stick it onto the cover. Hands on the trigger. So now I'm going to give you a top tip for hole punching. With your hole punch, um, move out the sliding bit until it says A4, or whatever size of paper you have. Then when it's A4, get your piece of paper and slide it so the edge is up against the sticking out of it, and then hole punch, pushing it right back. This will get the exact place, and it's really easy to get it off, so... This is such a better idea. I'm using double sided tape to stick on the edges. It's just a stronger hold rather than glue and then sticking it as close to the on like edges on the actual notebook as possible. Now I'm repeating every single step on another piece of colored um, card. Um, completely different, you can do the same colored or whatever you want. The same steps, all the same um, and just, yeah, just doing it for the back cover. I'm taking my choice of duct tape or you can have washi tape or whatever, getting out the sides of the length of the notebook and then laying it down, putting the center of the edge in like into the center of the um, duct tape and then folding the edges over so it kind of creates a hold and um, covers up those rough edges, just makes it look nicer and you can use whatever choice you want so it's really unique and I really like this. And then what I'm going to do is get, I made a template, um, which I just copied off the internet, I didn't print it out or nothing, onto a piece of paper. And once I have cut it out, I made another one, but it was smaller, that could go inside, so there's two. Um, the outer one, the bigger one, was like a funky one, and then the smaller one was like a plain, so I could write on it easier. I just connected them with some glue and then some double-sided tape to stick it actually down onto the cover of my notebook and then all I did to write on it was got a sharpie and wrote notes on it you can write whatever class or whatever you want on it and I did a few dots on above the O and on, under the S and then just on the corners this just makes it so unique and my own personal style and twist to the words and we're done I love this notebook it's so unique and if anybody asks where you got it you can just say you made it and everyone be so amazed by you and yeah I'm just so happy with it. Books you don't have to stop with this possibility you can go all out. I actually made another one more tropical more um, summery and I actually found an old notebook and it had one of those elastics that hold the actual pages together. I took it off because the old one was like filled up and it couldn't be used anymore and I stapled the back um, to the back and then just like put it around so that's a good touch to add and then from the inside I traced a doily a small one um, on the inside it isn't the actual one it's just the outlines of it and then I also also had this decorative paper that looked like a notebook so that's a starter page and then the rest of the book is literally just the regular page so I just thought I'd give you a few more ideas of what you could do for your notebooks
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more back to school kind of videos you want me to do, then leave them in the description box below. If you're new to my channel, then please hit subscribe. I post videos every Sunday of craft. If you make my DIY notebook, then please use the hashtag Claudia Crafts on Instagram or Twitter to show me. And you may get a like and a follow and all that. So I hope you guys are having a crafty day just like me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! And there are two ways to make, that's four, there are two ways to make, that's three. And then, all my social media, mm, <laughs> social,